I think this is a very important topic. Uh, it was also asked in my Twitter inbox. So shout out to those who show uh, show me love with the inbox and the questions. But let's talk about this because uh, I know I, I've been married. I was married for 15 years before I went through a divorce. And some of you know that my ex-wife, when we married, her son was 12, right? I was 24. So here it is. I'm raising somebody half my age. And I think some of that played into, you know, the demise of our marriage because I'm raising somebody half my age. And had I took this advice when I was younger, you know, I probably would have thought twice. But, you know, the past is the past is what it is. But let's talk about this. Dating someone with a child, the challenges and how to maneuver. Now, during some statistics, I was doing some studying that most households today are led by single parent homes. So just know that if you are in your 30s or late 20s, early 30s, chances are you're going to date somebody with a kid. That's just the reality of today. Statistically, most homes are led by single parent homes. Now, let's jump into the first question. I want to talk about this when you consider dating someone with a child. How old is the child? I think that's very important because if the child is in between, say, newborn to maybe five, how is that relationship with the uh, the child's mother or the child's father? Like, how are their relationship? And I'm going to talk about that as well. But do they still have something going on? Do they still have a physical connection? You know, are they still tight, tight knit where they still have a connection and, you know, there's a chance of them possibly getting back together? Like all these things come into play. So you want to consider that when the age is in between zero and say possibly five years, years old. Now, sometimes you do get people, they like, look, he's gone. He's out the picture. I don't, I don't have nothing to, to do with him, you know, okay, I get that. But consider that relationship with the mother uh, and the fire, father, the biological parents. Let's talk about that. What is their relationship? And is it one that's volatile? Is it one that's possibly harmful or stressful? Is this something that you don't really want to get involved with because they haven't come to any resolve themselves? Uh, you know, am I going to have to uh, lay hands on this dude or am I going to have to lay hands on her? You know, who knows? Uh, because you just don't want to get caught up in that. If if the mother or the father is somewhat bitter and they still have some issues going on, that's something that you really want to tread lightly in that area. Because, <laughs> look, I'm telling you, you do not want to get involved with somebody who has a, a bitter uh, baby mother or a bitter baby father like your relationship is going to be really tough to grow if you're dealing with somebody who has a bitter baby mama or a bitter baby daddy. You're going to spend most of your time disagreeing and, and, and fighting with them opposed to developing your own relationship. I seen a video on TikTok the other day, or actually it was today, I seen a video where the guy was bringing his son, now I guess the, 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 the child's mother, she has, I guess she has three kids. And the father came over for his child and just brought food over <laughs> for his child. And his baby mother was upset. Like, so you're not going to bring food for everybody else, you know, for all of my kids. And he's like, no, I'm just bringing something over for my kid. And I was just like, wow, that's tough. And like, she just put him on blast on social media. So I guess this video is going around. It's a topic kind of worth discussing. You know, are you are you willing to take care of other uh, people's kids too, even though you moved on. Now, me personally, and I was talking to my wife about this, you know, we just grew up in an era where if you bought something for somebody, you just brought food over for everybody. Now, if he wasn't going to bring food over for the other kids too, then he possibly could have just took his son and said, you know what, let me just spend a little time with, with my boy and let let me just, you know, put in some hours with him. And then you go and buy him a little Happy Meal or something like that. Then you feed him. But to come over <laughs> to your baby mama's house with one meal for just your kid, you know, that, it could have been on some petty stuff. I don't know. But I was just like, I guess this is the world that we're living in, you know, uh, where you just like, I'm just going to look out for my kid and that's it. I don't know. Tell me what y'all think about it. I don't know if you've seen the video or not, but I think it's it's... 
a topic worth discussing. But I think a lot of that come from bitterness. Maybe they don't get along anymore. And, you know, maybe he was trying to throw a little shade. I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, what is the relationship between the child's parents, good or bad? So that's something that you want to check at the door uh, if you're considering dating someone with a child. And to be honest, you know, let's just be a friend. You can tell whoever this person that you're dating, look, my baby mama crazy. Or look, my baby daddy crazy. I know we shouldn't use the word crazy, but you know what I'm saying. Um, and you shouldn't want to get involved with anybody else if you are having difficulties with your child's mother or father. Don't get involved with nobody else because that can be a, a, another set of issues that you don't want to deal with. So I would say until you can tighten up those screws with, with your baby mom or your, or your baby father, don't get into another relationship. You know, I, I just think that's being fair, you know, and respecting somebody else because they can be moving on with their life. And now they caught up with you and your baby mama or your baby daddy. And now y'all got all this stuff going on when they could have been living their own life. But you decided to to be selfish and drag this person into your mess because you like them. But anyway, uh, the third one is the person uh, that has the child. They might not be able to connect with you all the time. They might not be able to go on dates as much as say if you didn't have any kids. So that's something that you might want to consider as well, that uh, we can't go kick it every weekend because I might have my kids this weekend or that. So you really have to be strategic in your planning and know that you just can't kick it when y'all want to. You know, you got to make sure that y'all schedules uh, work together. So that way, if the other parent have the child, then you can go on a date with, you know, your your potential significant other. But just know that they won't have just the time to just drop everything and to go and hang out with you, which uh, some people is just like, I choose not to date people with kids because they like when I want to spend my time with you, I want to spend my time with you. You know, I just want to be with you and that's it. Uh, and there in the comment section, it says sometimes that sucks because one has fully moved forward and one has not. Multiple years have passed. That is very true. Uh, and I think that's why over time we have to uh, recover. I think we need to get ourselves together because I came from a single parent household. And when I was going through my divorce, I had my daughter and you know I was going into the whole single parent, single parenting household thing. And eventually I got full custody of my daughter. But I do think it's important that uh, you just take some time to develop this time with your child. If it's just y'all two. You know, spend some time with your child. You might have been going through a tough time with not being with the mother or the father. And now you're the single parent, you know, invest that time into your child, uh, especially when they're younger, because they just really trying to form their identity and know who they are and stuff like that. And I think it's important to put that quality time in uh, with your child before jumping into another relationship or bringing someone else into the relationship, because there's a lot of stuff that comes with having a blended family, especially if you desire to marry this person or y'all eventually just having this, this, um, this, um, long-term relationship that, and I'm going to talk about that as well. Uh, let's jump into that. What would a relationship be like with the child? Now here it is. You don't have any kids. You're coming into uh, a situation where somebody has a child. What would that relationship be like? Is it going to be one where you're trying to come in and, and be like the parent or are you just trying to just to get to know the child personally, just to get to know them on a personal basis? Because if you get into a relationship, the child is going to they're going to accept you. Right. I mean, eventually they're going to accept you because you're going to be nice to them. You're going to buy them candy or buy them gifts and stuff like that. Now, some kids, when they're older, and that's when I talked about this earlier in the video about how old how old is the child, because if they're older they like setting their ways. They like, you know, I've, I have my daddy. I want my daddy or that kind of thing. And they can be real rebellious towards you. And you have to tread lightly in that area because you can't control that. Now, if you are a family and y'all under one roof together, y'all decide to connect. Just know that you have to come into this relationship with a, a loving and caring hand. You know, you have to tread lightly. Right. I think that's very important. You have to show them love first. Before you try to decide to really take on this whole parenting role. Because see, the thing with kids is 
if you get into a situation where you're trying to help parent, you know, um, that biological parent might have an issue with that. And I think this is why it's important that you talk about parenting, parenting styles. Are you a disciplinarian? Uh, are you, you know, more lenient? I think that's very important to discuss because when kids don't have their biological parents, there can be some rebellion. But at the same time, um, if you love on them enough, you know, they'll show you love and respect. It says, dang, I wish I could. Oh, okay. Uh, no problem, Deidre. Um, the video will be available on YouTube, so I'll make sure I'll upload this as well um, But while I'm going live. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, I was saying that with the disciplinary, being a disciplinarian, like what kind of parent are you? I think that's why it's important to have those discussions while dating. Because if you know what you're getting into, you're like, you know, I'm 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 a parent that's against uh, discipline. And if somebody if they are disciplinarian, that it's not going to work because marriage is in on parenting styles like people don't have these discussions, but you got to have them when kids come into play. Um, so make sure you have that conversation and then also know that. Once it get once you start setting rules in the household and stuff like that, like if y'all are a family and y'all under one roof and you help kind of raising this child, know that when you set rules and boundaries, you you and your significant other, y'all gotta have a conversation. You know, y'all gotta have a conversation. Like, okay, I don't want you disciplining my child, but whenever you see something going on, talk to me about it first. So you and the child parent have to be on the same page first. I think that is very important. Y'all have to be so tight knit together that the kids can't pull y'all apart because, you know, kids will play favorites. They are like, well, this is my mommy and such and stuff like that. So if you get caught up in uh, just wanting to be the good parent and you're going against your significant other, there's going to be a big divide. It's going to cause problems in the relationship. But believe me, kids will play against you because they want to get their way. So you have to be on the same page with your significant other when it comes to disciplinary actions, when it comes to order and rules in the home, all these different things come into play. And I think we don't talk about that enough. Now, let's talk about another thing when you're dating. <clears throat> Is the person you're dating paying child support, especially like with guys, right? You got to have the conversation is he paying child support? Because if he is and y'all get into a relationship, it's cool when y'all are dating because you don't know his fight. You don't know his finances. But once y'all come under one roof and then you start to split bills and y'all paying bills together, that's when stuff starts to become an issue. Because now all of a sudden you starting to see how much money coming up out of his check and you you mad at the baby mama now. <laughs> you know, you like how much is coming up out of your check? Now you're looking at it as you taking away from my home now. You know, so you got to have that conversation in the in the uh, beginning stages of I say once you really start to get serious, like are you paying child support? These kind of things, because once you get that money under one roof and you start looking at every penny and every dollar that comes in and out of the house. Believe me, that can cause some issues because there was a time when I had to pay alimony and I had to pay child support uh, before I got my daughter full time. And. It it was it was bad. Like I had to pay that up for about a year, but my wife and I we took the time to understand our finances. Let's look at what we got. Let's make sure that we pay this right. Let's make sure this is bad. I, there was a time I overpaid because I was like, look, I ain't trying to get caught up on this child support stuff. I don't want to get caught up in any back pay, none of that stuff. But um, make sure you had a conversation about are you paying child support and how this will affect our relationship afterwards. And remember, most households are led by single parents in 2022. So you have to really consider that whoever you're dating, this person might have a child. So those are, are some of the tips. So the uh, first one is how old is the child? And you can kind of gauge from there if you want to deal with that or not. Because some people, they choose, they like, look, your child is still in diapers. I don't mess with kids in diapers because I'm I'm done with that. My child is is 17 and, you know, he's doing his own thing. So you have to consider those things. How old is the child? Number two is what's the relationship between the child's parents? Are they good or bad? And are you willing to, to get involved with that? Right. Because you just 
you know, people's situations be different. You got bitter baby moms, bitter baby dads, and they see you move on and they might be feeling some kind of way. Uh, number three, remember that everything can be about you in this dating process because they have a child, they got to pay for daycare, they got to, you know, maneuver the kid around here and there. So you might not be able to date and go everywhere as much as y'all want to because you got to find a sitter and all these things. So you have to be considerate because some people are like, they taking my time, you know, no, they're a child and they might not have that time for you as a parent because they're trying to take care of their child. So you have to be considerate and knowing that uh, everything might not go your way because y'all want to go and kick it whenever you want to. You can't. They're a single parent. Then the next one is what will your relationship be like with the child? Understand that if you're getting involved with someone with a child, you got to come in with a loving hand. You just can't come in as a disciplinarian or trying to tell everybody uh, what to do. And the next one is, are they paying child support and talking about that from a financial perspective and how would that affect your household? So those are the ones right there when it comes to dating someone with a child and challenges and how to maneuver. If there are any questions, feel free to ask now before I jump off the live. I thought this was a topic that we need to address because again, most households today are led by single parents and some people have kids uh, and, and you know some people don't. So if not, I'm about to jump off of it here. Make sure that you visit uh, the YouTube channel when you hit the subscribe button. And if you are listening to this via podcast, make sure you leave a rating and review on Apple Podcasts. I'm also putting names for a drawing for a free Amazon gift card. So if you leave a rating and review, I'll put your name in there. And if you win, you get a free Amazon gift card. This is Sean Heineman, your premier pre-engagement coach at A Scary to Remarry. Take care of people.